So I'm just gonna work the bottom of this pan, get all the little crusties off that I can. Get everything down in there. Pour a little bit over the top like so. And then we're gonna go into the oven. I've got a convection oven set at 350. I'm gonna pop it in there for, I'm gonna give it, we'll say 45 minutes and see what it looks like. All right. Okay, so uh, pop the pork in the oven. We're gonna let that go for a while. Pretend like we fast forwarded in time and we're about maybe, we've taken our pork roast out of the oven and it's sitting for five or 10 minutes. We're gonna finish up, we're gonna make our crashed potatoes and we're gonna make some little green beans uh, with nuts. A little green bean amandine. Once again, a little olive oil, touch of butter. Butter's for the flavor, correct? Butter's for the flavor, yeah. Just gonna set that there. Oh uh, no, not lots of garlic. No. Garlic and saute that up. Since our green beans are already cooked, we don't really need to do much with that. We're gonna take our nuts and pop them right in there. Toast them up with that garlic. I took it off the heat because I don't want those nuts to get too brown. I don't want the garlic to, to burn out. So now that those have toasted up just a little bit, I'm gonna take our green beans, pop them right in there. I'm gonna add a little more butter. I'm gonna keep that on nice and low. Just let those green beans warm through. We're gonna let that be. I'm gonna drain my potatoes. My potatoes are soft. Always be careful. Steam can burn you just as badly as flame. And since I've already burned myself with flame once today, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, I'll just. Do <laughs> One burn a day is my rule. Look at the eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> that pardon me. I'm going to let these drain real quick. Those are all set. Right back into our pan. And then we're going to crash these babies up. So we've got our potatoes in there, butter, I always start, I've always said start with little, you can always add more, half and half. You don't make it, you just about a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Hey, you got to be a cook, Bob, you know, <laughs> if you can't make, if you can't take potatoes and boil them and add butter cream, salt and pepper, and not make them taste good, then there's something wrong with you. Yeah. You need a lot more help than I can offer you. <laughs> no garlic enough? No, no, Bob. No. Enough with the garlic, okay? <laughs> yeah, obviously. You know, the too much of... Oh, wow. And that's, that's it. it. <laughs> What more do you really have to do, except for taste them to make sure the seasoning's on? Yeah. And as I said, start start low with your seasoning and work your way up. And that's that's how I learned how to do this. 
is by tasting everything I make along the way and making adjustments. And you eventually get a palate where you can taste something and say, it's got enough salt, but it's, it needs something. And the only way you can achieve that is by doing it. There's no, there's no set recipe for it, so. I like the line that how long they cook it by until it's done. Until it's done, that's how I learned. The chefs at the restaurant, that's how they taught me. And that's, you know, it's pretty easy to know when a potato's done. You, you know, take it, crush it. When I'm doing whole potatoes, I take one potato in my tongs, and if I squeeze gently and it breaks apart, it's ready to go. Just need a little more salt and pepper. If it was me, I'd add a little bit of butter, a little more butter. It's like, uh, like Paul, Paula Dean. Get some butter and some mayonnaise in this dish and it'll be right up her alley. Okay. <laughs> All right, so our crashed potatoes are done. We're gonna be ready to plate that. Our beans are coming around. And we'll be back in a minute. We'll plate everything up and uh, make a little, I'm gonna deglaze that pan, make a little sauce for the pork and we'll be good to go. All right, we're back. We've got the final components of our meal all together. Our pork is rested. Uh, gonna slice that. Got a little bit of the roasted vegetables out of the bottom of the pan. Nicely caramelized, adds a lot of flavor to those vegetables. Those are gonna be terrific. And those have been roasting basically in all the pork dripping. So it's gonna give it even added flavor. I've taken my roasting pan, I, I took my pork roast out, set it on another plate along with the vegetables. And then I'm working everything out of this, everything out of this roasting pan that we worked on, that we roasted everything in. Scrape down all the sides. I've got it on a little bit of heat just to help it bring those little bits off. And like I said, I had found this Vidalia sweet onion relish. I've gotten this before, I forget where. BJ's. Is it BJ's? Yeah. That's where I've seen it. So we're just gonna spoon a little bit of that into our into our pan drippings here. Make a quick, quick, easy sauce. I'm gonna let that warm up a little bit. That smells great. Gonna give that a quick taste. See how we did. Will, do you want to taste it for me? <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. All right. So final plating. Roasted vegetables. We've got our crashed potatoes. I might even serve the pork right over these potatoes right here to tell you the truth. Got a nice slice of pork roast, all nicely caramelized. 160 in the center. Set that right on there. We've got our green beans, little roasted nuts and garlic. Gonna finish it with our Sweet Vidalia onion pan dripping relish. And there you have it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Uh, my thanks to Bob Heisen. Uh, my True thanks to the Fitzgeralds. Uh, terrific kitchen. This house is for sale if anybody's interested and I can attest to the beauty and convenience of this kitchen. Great convection oven, uh, electric grill, everything's terrific. A uh, pool out back, Bob and I may go for a swim <laughs> after we're finished filming. So uh, once again, uh, thank you guys very much. Thanks again, Bob, and y'all have a good day. Take care. <laughs>